Oh god, here we go. What do I know about Wendy Williams? Nothing. I really, I don't know anything about her. I don't know where she came from. I don't know how she rose to fame. I know that she does have a talk show where I, the word talk is really thrown around loosely. They're not talk, they're not saying much. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's no point to it. They're not really saying anything. It's come to my attention recently that her brains are melting. This is not something that's gonna make us better people. We are gonna walk away with fewer brain cells and just overall feeling a little bit trashier than when we started. That's, that's what I am. I'm a dumpster diver. I guess let's just check up on Wendy. This is a new segment, checking up with Wendy. I'm gonna have to cut that. I didn't like that at all. It's the Wendy Williams Show. Everybody behind her is muted. Like, just pick somebody in the background and watch them. The people on the screens are muted. There's no sound coming from them. There's six people in the audience, all of whom are staff. So where's all the cheering coming from? I'm chewing my mints. I'm moisturizing my hands. She just has this stare, like she's staring through you. You ever dealt with somebody who's just high on drugs or way too drunk and they, they're they looking at you, but they're kind of looking like through you? <laughs> she has that stare going on. So I'm kind of getting the vibe that the staff, everybody's kind of just pushing this show along. And they're the only reason that this is a successful show at the moment. If there's anything COVID has shown us is that Hollywood is built on sand and that it is slowly eroding. And it's kind of embarrassing to watch all these people holding up this facade. It is what it... Excuse me, Marco. It's a jumpsuit with pockets and Air Max. Oh. <laughs> I was weird, man. You look good, Wendy. Fucking excuse me, Marco. Did I say you could speak? This is a jumpsuit. It does have pockets. And I'm wearing cool shoes. Weird start, kind of a weird energy at the beginning of this. Is it, maybe it's just me, maybe this is how the show is. I got on Walford tights. So, um... What is happening? First of all, there's a shoe cam where they just like, they do a close-up of her shoes, and they play magical pixie music. She just is like, these are my shoes. <laughs> I have cool shoes on. <laughs> Who's watching this? <laughs> it was a weird pause. This whole show has a very strange energy to it, but the studio audience is like, fuck yes, dude. <laughs> So, um, I was laying in my office and my phone rang. Bring. And I literally am laying silently. Yo, baby. Uh -oh. Rick Ross. Uh, he wants to uh, do something. I'm listening. <laughs> Be caught. That's better than quiet. Right, Be caught. Court. <laughs> Be caught. Be caught. I don't even know what you're talking about. I have no idea. I don't know what's happening right now. There's weird pregnant pauses between each line. What I don't, I don't, I don't follow. He will be rich forever. That's what he always 
calls himself, uh -huh. which makes a girl like me say, mm. Mm. He's going to be rich forever, which makes a girl like me go, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what that sound was. Just it's just weird. Like, oh, he's got money. Ooh, and that's what you put out there for other people. She hasn't said anything. Basically, she said, "Hey, Rick Ross called me," and then everyone in the audience is like, "No, what? Crazy. Who cares? You know what I mean? He was literally." Not romantical, uh -huh. but sort of antical. <laughs> sort of antical. Right. <laughs> right, 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 right. Huh? <laughs> I don't know what you. I don't know what you mean. You're making up words. And then your co-host. I think he's a co-host. I think he's really just there so that when Wendy Williams get into some hot water, she doesn't know what to say, or a little bit of brain starts to pour out of her ears, they can actually pan away, take a little bit of the heat off of her. Somehow, everyone in the crowd is like. Exact. That's exactly what I was thinking. Took the words out of my mouth, Wendy Williams. Well, a guy like Rick Ross, since he's rich forever, to me, he's got a lot of mansions. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> What does that mean? To you, he has a lot of mansions. She's saying in the future, like he could buy more. What was that weird self-adoring laugh? Did I just have a stroke? Did she just have a stroke? Are we stroking out right now? I can feel my brain cells committing suicide. I'm trying to make sense of whatever the fuck is happening here. The mansion that he owns right there. Mm-hmm. We've already talked about this. Mm-hmm. 100 and at 109 rooms. Um, oh, 12 bedrooms. <laughs> and a nice swimming pool, apparently. <laughs> Thank God that guy's around for her. Hey, can you imagine her trying to make it through this show without somebody to take a little bit of the heat off? I really don't even know how this is still a show. Something's not right. Something's not right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a limb and say something's not right. <laughs> but what I will do is entertain him. Okay. J no, 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 no. I will entertain in the calm down, because I got my own situation, and I'm good. Mm -hmm. I've got Air Max on. Yeah, we've been over that. You already had things to say? It's been seven minutes. Sure, it's felt like a week and a half, but it's been seven minutes. And you're back to saying how you're wearing a pair of shoes. What is happening? Maybe I need a shoe cam. I like the <laughs> You like those? No, I like the I like the shoe cam music. Uh. <laughs> Cuz to me to me to me we need to use <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do my foot like. <laughs> Come on. Move his feet. Move his feet. <laughs> he doesn't count. <laughs> you might say, try watching something else. How do we know that she's not usually better, firing at all cylinders? And you know what? Maybe you're right. Let's check something else out. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and today's eye candy is Jamie, and she's from Michigan. I was 33 years old when I found a lump in my chest. Soon after, I was told I had an aggressive form of breast cancer. After I was declared cancer-free, I attempted breast reconstruction. 
when that failed due to an infection, I decided to go flat. And now I am helping women all over the world to embrace their scars and to rock their flat chest. I am eight years cancer free. Thank you so much, Jamie. I'm glad you appreciate your flat. Oh, um, but we're gonna send you this special. What was that triumphant story about a woman overcoming her struggles with breast cancer, breast reconstructive surgery failing, and she goes on to be like, I love myself even as I am. And then Wendy immediately goes, good for you. Oops, oops, I have huge tits. Like, what is this? And look, if you like it and you like Wendy, good for you, man, I guess. This is just my perspective. Here we go, here's a segment the world needs. Ask Wendy so she can try to solve your problems even though she's drowning in her own. <laughs> I don't know that she's really in the state to be giving advice. It's, it's wild. Wendy, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. What's your question? I've got a question. Where did my shoulders go? <laughs> uh, I'm fucking around. Guy's got no shoulders. You should have asked. You should have asked where they went. So I've got a friend who recently cheated on her boyfriend, which I do not agree with at all. Okay. But what she doesn't know, the person she cheated on with is actually her boyfriend's cousin. Um, do I tell her or do I watch it all play out? <laughs> okay, so I you, know. your friend. Say it again. Sorry, I was not paying attention. I was busy being high as fuck. Can you say that again? <laughs> so my friend cheated on her boyfriend, but she doesn't know that the person she cheated on with was her boyfriend's cousin. So I don't know whether to tell her or do I just sit back and watch it all play out? Don't say anything. Act, no? No, act, act dumb. Oh, you see something going wrong? Yeah, don't say anything. Oh, oh, it's your friend? Yeah, don't tell her. How old is your, uh, how old is the girl? I'm 25. No, the girl, the other girl. <laughs> oh, she, she's 25. Okay. And so everyone's like around 25? Yeah, all that, that kind of age. I wouldn't get involved. Matthew, good luck. Okay. What's her age? I know it's not important. It doesn't really matter what age you are. I have nothing else to say. So I'm just going to ask what her age is. You can say her age and then I will confirm yet again that no, don't say anything. Play stupid. Anybody who's taking advice from Wendy Williams, you're in danger. Your life will crumble. She just like says words. She just throws stuff out there and people go, ooh, ooh. I could, I could literally just scroll through, click any Wendy Williams video and there's something to talk about. So like, this is probably a part one. You know what I mean? Like this is probably going to be an ongoing thing. I'm not going to lie. So I'm, first of all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you have to go through this, but also, you know, it's pretty fun, right? fun <laughs> if you like this video make sure you hit the like button hit subscribe notification bell ring that son of a bitch you want to be notified when i upload and i want you to be notified so like what are we doing here you know just like it just like the video